Uh, by way of background, when um, the Marabe government decided to uh, embark on special economic zones, it enacted a legislation called the Special Economic Zone Act of 2019. Now, usually before you pass laws, you must come up with the policy which the law is framed on. In the case of Papua New Guinea, we didn't have a, a policy in 2019. We government went right ahead and passed a law without uh, the policy framework that guided the formulation of the law. So one of my first KPIs when I became minister for AZZ was to host an international AZZ summit, which we did. And we started look, looking at formulating a new policy. We had nationwide consultation, national consultations, and the first draft is ready, and we are now doing the final changes before we put it out for final comments, both to uh, experts internally and outside the country for final comment. What I want to announce to Papua New Guinea on behalf of our government today is this. Under the new AZ policy, which will be finalized and, and uh, launched by the Prime Minister very soon, to the world and to the nation. One of the key policies of the Papua New Guinea is that policy will be a section on local ownership. Under that section, it will say, in every special economic zone in Papua New Guinea, we would like the ownership of the companies to invest in the AZs to be majority owned or substantially owned by Papua New Guineans. We cannot have AZS being developed without Papua New Guinea investment. It is simple. In AZS, you get special economic incentives, like you bring in duty materials duty free. You get 10, 10 year tax holidays or five year tax holidays. Companies who operate in the AZS are likely to be very profitable, as is the experience throughout the world. We cannot have only foreigners investing in AZ without Papua New Guinea. And please, no, Yumiya, we have, must be given the first right to invest in economic zones. So, the Marabe government under TechBig PNG, we are now putting policy that in every AZZ, we want Papua New Guineans to own the investments within the AZZs. We are going to start with the example of Paga Hill. Last week we announced here that 40% of the new Radisson Blue Hotel will be owned by Papua New Guinea interest. I am happy to inform the country that since that announcement we've had so many inquiries from Papua New Guineans who want to invest in the hotel. But three investors, big investors have already, Papua New Guinea investors have already said, will take up the 40%. So it will not allow other citizens, other moms and dads, other landowner companies to invest in Paga Hill in terms of the hotel development. But the hotel is not the only investment in the Paga Hill AZZ. We are going to have a very big shopping mall. We are going to have apartments. We are going to have private hospital. We are going to have other investments on Paga Hill. We are now writing to the owners of Paga Hill AZZ, Paga Hill Estates. We've now written to them to tell them that you cannot have any more investments within the AZZ unless Papua New Guineans are investors in this, in the investments. For example, if you are going to have a shopping mall, then we want majority ownership to go to Papua New Guinea. And I'm not only talking Nas Fano, number one super, Defense Force Retirement Fund. I'm talking landowner companies. I'm talking ordinary teachers, public servants. They must all invest. This is their country. They must be given the right. So what we are now saying to Paga Hill through a formal letter is we want the new company to be incorporated and listed on the Port Mosby Stock Exchange so Papua New Guineans can buy shares in that company to invest in Paga Hill. 
under an initial public offering. We have to do, put together a company, organize a prospectus, take it to a market and get Papua New Guineans to invest. So that when we build a shopping mall there, it will be owned by Papua New Guineans. We build a hospital there, it will be owned by, we are going to create a vehicle. The government will take lead in this. In the past, we, only, we had a fund called the Investment Corporation Fund of Papua New Guinea. That was the vehicle Papua New Guineans were able to use. It's now called Pacific Balance Fund. It has some serious issues and we are working through that. In the meantime, we now need a vehicle company for Papua New Guineans to buy into all these exciting investments that are, are going to happen in, in the Paka Hill, as you said, starting with the hotel and the casino. So I wanted to announce to Papua New Guinea that Local ownership will be a big part of the new AZZ policy that the Marabe Rosso government will be launching very shortly. And we are implementing that policy starting with the Paga Hill. I will shortly be also talking to the other AZZ, the Central Limestone Project. At the moment, it's only listed in Australia. This is not acceptable. We are going to have to have bring in local investors. It has to be listed in the Port Moresby Talk Exchange. So I'm now going to di direct the Asian Authority to go and talk to them. Because if you don't do that, you won't have a license. It is as simple as that. Papua New Guinea ownership is key in economic zones. We can't give special incentive to only foreigners. That is not going to be allowed under Tech Back PNG. So it's very important. That's going to come out in the policy next few weeks. Final consultations and we are ready to bring the policy submission to cabinet. Once cabinet endorses the submission, then the Prime Minister will be able to launch it to the world and to Papua New Guinea. And like I said, a key part of that policy is AZZ, especially the investments in the AZZ, must be majority or substantially owned by Papua New Guineans. Not only the big super funds or the land owner companies, but every mom and dad Every teacher, every nurse, every public servant must be given the right to buy in and own investments in education in Papua New Guinea. So with that, um, I thank you very much, media, for coming. I need to stop now and uh, take one or two questions, but I think it's very clear. We are announcing the new policy. And we are now practically implementing tech the PNG. Papua New Guineans must invest own and benefit from the wealth of their nation, including investment opportunities like this. And uh, I have spoken to Parker Hill. They were keen with the idea we are now going to implement it. And it's policy, so every other area is that. So in future, when they come to the economy, you don't authority to apply for the license. First question is, uh, how many shares are going to Papua New Guinea? How, how do you propose to do it? If you don't have Papua New Guinea, you simply won't have a license. I wanted to make this very clear to the nation today. Thank you. I'll take any questions. Uh, Minister, just one question. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, can you name three of the investors that are investing in Malaysian? Uh, can you name the three uh, investors that are investing right now? Because they are going through confidential negotiations, I cannot give their names for now, but I'm sure in the next few weeks when the agreements are done, there'll be a major announcement and the, and the groundbreaking for the hotel to start. And then you'll know. But right now it's commercially in confidence, I can't, uh, I can't reveal the names. But I can tell you now that the foreign investors and the local ones are already taking up the shares, so no one's space flow or like the email or invest the hotel. So this why I'm announcing that other investments up there, they have to open it up, not only to the big investors, but also to every, every public union through a publicly listed company or the stock exchange created for our people to uh, own through shares so we can allow people to invest in the shopping mall, private hospital, and every other investment in Paga Hill economy. So. You know one bell is not talking about one. One bell or not? One bell. You need to take the opinion on one of the two. You need to take the opinion on one and policy now by consular of policy. Our lawyers are writing it into the policy. So you can't apply for an license unless you tell us how much shares by public exchange. 
how do you propose for Papua New Guinea to own this company? We, we might not own 100%, but at least big part, we must own it. And we must be given the right every time, every single investment. So it means that the incentives also are placed to local investors? Or they will benefit from the company.